So my name is Sean Beecroft and uh, I'm an adjunct professor here at Sheridan. I was actually a computer programming student at Sheridan. 1998, I, I think, was my first year. And I was here for a few years and then I went off into industry and I, I worked in industry for about 10 years, approximately. So far I've been teaching sort of a mixture of the basic introduction to Java, kind of an introduction to programming in general. Uh, we use the Java programming language uh, typically. I've been teaching some courses that involve different sophistication levels of, of uh, programming. And uh, most recently I've started teaching programming on mobile devices. The students are always coming up with different ideas uh, of how they want to um, create different programs. And so we try and look at how can we set up the programs in such a way so that they can meet their objective. This little application is just a simple application that kind of demonstrates some, some basic physics and so we just have kind of a like a little bouncing ball. We're on an Android phone so we had to develop the software in order to get it onto the mobile device. There's a number of different things that are involved in that so we've got gestures um, and here we're just doing a little physics simulation. This is not unlike something that we might try to do um, in class and this kind of a problem would involve a number of different smaller problems. Actually what's going on right now really reminds me of the boom that was going on when I first got out of college. Because when I first got out of college, hardly anybody had websites. And it was a big opportunity for people that had some knowledge of computer programming um, to get out there and, and provide solutions to the consumer. There was a lot of demand. And I see a lot of parallels right now in the mobile space. There's no substitution for coming and learning with other people in an environment where you really get the opportunity to focus and, and uh, spend some time really learning your subject. So once you're actually out in the workforce, then you can realize it's not just about programming. There's a whole bunch of other things that come into the mix. Being a programmer involves a lot of things, you know, not just computer programming. So you, know, you want to focus and remember to, that you're going to need some of these other things too.